What's happening, fam? LAL movement still moving. Book entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father, Amazon Kindle Create Space. Why I don't like the hustler mentality. See, when you look up the definition of a hustler, I, this could be street mentality, this could be thug mentality, whatever. I'm just going to say hustler because I'm not going to, it's all dysfunctional to me. Because when you look at the definition of a hustler, it has a positive definition and a negative definition. But it, but it has multiple definitions, rather. Few of them are positive. The bulk of them are negative. And this is why I don't like the mentality. Because pe- if you're a hustler, oh, you could be a person that rushes into action and does things. You, you, you hustle. You're you, you, you in a hurry to get things done. You could be a hustler. You could be an enterprising person. But see, an enterprising person in, in the hustler definition is right. Enterprising person slash example, a prostitute. <laughs> That's a hustler mentality, holds mentality. You know, the most common term for a hustler is a swindler. Fraudulent motherfucker. And see, here's the problem with the hustler mentality, and this is the problem with some of our neighborhoods and some of our men and why... You have this 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 issue between a good black man and a black but the bad black men is because the quote unquote good black men are not hustlers. They're not out to to scam you and get over on you. But the bad black men are hustlers. They are they they out to fuck you over to get ahead. You know that's where you find a crabs in a barrel mentality. But that's the problem that you know when a hustler gets ahead. All of a sudden, he becomes some kind of entrepreneurial genius when he was just a fuckboy who got over the most. But you know, oh, that's not, that's not true. It, it, bullshit is not true. I can prove it to you. You see, a broke drug dealer is a degenerate. A rich drug dealer, he's an entrepreneur. He's still a fucking drug dealer. He ain't got no motherfucking morals. Fuck is you talking about? He just, he, he got, he was more successful in monetary gain than the broke dude. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know, a broke scam artist, he's, he's, he's an asshole. A rich scam artist, he's a businessman. No, he's a fucking scam artist. But see, that's 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 our community problem. That uh, that you know, it, and this is, this is where it goes. Because if somebody goes, well, what about the white folks? See, there's a different thing. Other races of people know how to separate their people going in a positive direction from their people going to a negative direction. They don't they don't they don't constantly let their criminal element be with their non-criminal element. It doesn't work. Now, those elements will combine when it comes to suppressing you or oppressing you, but they don't want to they don't want that in their own group. See them see um you watch all these movies just like the Puss Ass Godfather movie. That that's a prime example. People thought that fucking movie was good. I thought it was some puss ass dudes. And it cul- it culminated at the end. I think when that Pacino got his his daughter died, and my fucking won't break down crying cause she got shot. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You've been killing people in all these fucking movies and now it's cause it get coming to your doorstep. Now you got you sensitive? Fuck out of here. But that's a hustler's mentality. I could do it to you. Ain't nothing wrong with it if I get away with it. But if it happens to me, oh my God, no, it's not right. I want a baby girl. And the honey families, I ruin it. It doesn't equal up to the life of my baby girl. You punk motherfucker. Same thing with, um, you know, this quote unquote, you wonder why, okay, why, why, why brothers are not, um, coming back to the community, fixing it up because of the hustler mentality. Because, see, you not want to admit that 
if brothers come, if good brothers come and clean up the community, these fickle ass fuck boys that y'all call hustlers and thugs and gangsters gonna fuck it up. Because they like it like that. And then you're gonna call the good ones, come fix it again. And then they're gonna fuck it up. They come fix it again. They go fuck it up. And at the, and then the good these good brothers gonna start looking at the community like, how come y'all don't stop these people from fucking this up? I'm not I'm not gonna tell my son and my, my and, and my husband to stop fucking up the community. I'm, I'm gonna tell you to come fix it up. I mean, my boyfriend wanna burn shit down, you know. That's I can't tell him nothing. I can't tell I can't stop him. But I could, I could shame you to, to come rebuild this shit. Because I like the nice shit that he, that, he, that he burned down. I mean, he don't know no better. Get the fuck out of here. So, you know, but that's the hustler mentality. You know, it. that's that's why I say the drug dealer shit is ridiculous, you know. Oh, he's a drug dealer. You know, he sold millions of dollars worth of drugs. He's a... He's, he, he's a smart guy. You don't fucking know how easy it is to deal drugs. It's easy to deal. It's like opening a fucking supermarket. People are going to come buy food because the fucking market is there. You can sell drugs any fucking way because it's people who are fucking broken inside who are fucking addicts. They're going to always buy drugs. What you're not going to do is stop supplying these motherfuckers that, that are addicts with drug money. Oh, that's the problem. See, that's why I said a long time ago, uh, the drug war is bullshit because if you want to end the war, it's a supply and demand society. Lock up the addicts. Drug dealers wouldn't have nobody else to deal to. Thus ruining, you know, the drug game. But the problem is the addicts look white. Ain't finna happen. Same way they got this little heroin epidemic, this opiate epidemic, epidemic and epidemic. And this meth epidemic, they ain't finna lock these white folks up. They gonna fake like they gonna give them treatment, and they only gonna get worse. Because it's morality on one end and bullshit on the other, just like the definition of a hustler. You know? That's why, you know, that's one of the biggest problems with the pro-black community. Is it's overrun by people who are quote-unquote hustlers and have this hustler mentality. You know? They will uplift you and I shave you in one minute and cut your throat for a buck in the next. And it can be easily bought off. That is the problem with the hustling mentality because everybody who who comes from swindling people and fucking people over ain't, ain't Malcolm X. They're not completely reformed to the point where they look down upon screwing people over to get ahead. You know, you put a certain price in front of a motherfucker, they will be bought. And you can see that. You can, I can see it in their eyes just like I can see, see it, racism in, in, in a non-black person's eyes. You can see it for the right amount. I, 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 I cut your whole family throat, nigga. I shit, brother. We in this together. How much? A hundred fifty thousand? I'm gonna kill that nigga. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. hundred fifty? Y'all get like bonus for extra people? Shit, I'm about to tear this motherfucker down up. And then, and then I'm gonna get back brother and shit. I got no motherfuckers like that. Come at you with with, with the Asalam Lake my brother. Seven brother. So, so, you know, you know. In the Quran in the Quran it says, you know, you shall not do this, brother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Treat your woman nice, brother. Don't, don't you ever disrespect your lady, brother. Say man, why the fuck was you sneaking out of my house last night? You left your, you was fucking my wife. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> I was, was not, uh, I was just, uh, helping the plumbing. Brother, <laughs> it's not like that. Um, that baby here is yours, brother. Don't, don't, don't be like that. Don't put no gun out on me, brother. No, 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 we in this together, brother. It says in the Quran to forgive, brother. See, that's that hustler ass mentality. You know, what was that, t- that fucking movie that they got on Netflix, Adulterers? When, you know, that, that that's the, the the culmination of a hustler's mentality. That fucking scene right there, when 
the dude's fucking old boy's wife, and he he comes in and he and he winds up, you know, that's the hustlement. You got caught, and the wife like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and and the husband and and and, and the side piece, dumb fuck, like sitting there. You ain't gotta be serious, and then he wind up calling his wife. And he fucking his wife in front of in front of both of them, and they both like, don't do this. No, it's so wrong. That's the fucking hustler's mentality. It's only wrong when you when it's getting done to you. That's why I do not like the hustler mentality. That's why I do not like the fucking gangster mentality. Because oh, you can go around with your guns all on social media talking about how many motherfuckers you gonna kill until they shoot up your motherfucking house. Then you want a candlelight vigil and, and, and the church to come through and you want the news to come through. Fuck out my face that bullshit. Same thing with the player mentality. You know? Oh, I can fuck everybody else, woman player. You know what I'm saying? From the gang, pop my collar, ho. You know what I'm saying? I got it like that. These bitches love me. Then Until motherfucker over there crying, listening to Drake. I mean, he fucking, he's fucking my girl. Bullshit, you know, it's just straight bullshit. <laughs> Same thing, you know. I, I I used to love seeing them guys that were thieves and they motherfucking jackers, you know, jack boys be out there splashing. I got that money, I got that money, cause you cause you stealing from motherfuckers. And then when they get their shit stole from them, these motherfuckers ain't got no morals. Thou shall not steal from a thief. What kind of bullshit is that? They ain't raising these kids right. That's the hustler's mentality. You know? I want you to be Christian. Thou shalt not. God said. Preacher's mentality is the same fucking thing. You know? Thou shalt not commit adultery. You know, after I fucked your wife, after she gave me her tithes and offering. How dare you? You shall be con condemned to hell for what you did. But God need to forgive me. We are all human. We are all fall short of the glory of God. I mean, you have to let that go. <laughs> and these are the people y'all want to lead the community. This is why our community is at odds. This is the reason why the shit ain't got fixed yet. Because the community can't get away from uh, being an accomplice to the hustler's mentality. And if you are an accomplice to the hustler mentality, what you are is you a clean hand, dirty hand motherfucker. See, and you mixing it all together when it's convenient. And when you have one clean hand and one dirty hand, both of your hands wind up dirty when you mix it together. But then you want somebody with clean hands to come wash away your dirty ass sin. You, you fucking out of your mind. I'm out.